Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. Um, today's vlog is going to be a full day and a cooking video vlog. Um, we were supposed to go to London's Fourth Market, but we did not end up going. So I decided to add a little cooking video in for you guys, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. So let's get into the video. <laughs> Muriel, what are you wearing? Raining. Why? Well, now it's fine, baby. Tell mommy, what are you, where are we going to? We're in the bar. Okay. okay, so we are on our way to the beach now for Tweed and Ivia. Yeah, and we're going, we're going at 25 minutes. And I see the, I see the little guy make, make, make what? Make, make this. I just see he was making this. Um, I wanted to, I'm not sure if the club says cancelled or what for this year. Um, but it's just really hot, so I was like, it's much better if we just go to the beach, but the beach is full by us, so we're going to try to go to Strand and see if they have any space for us. So we are going to the pool now for the second time in this week. Actually, the third, right, Charlie? So the weather, weather has really changed from yesterday. I think it was 41 or 38 degrees yesterday, and then all of a sudden, it just it came down like drastically. But I'm very happy because it's just much cooler today. <laughs> Okay, so we are making triplet curry today, but first we're starting with the rice. So I heat my pan on low heat and then I add my oil and just let that, you know, heat up a little bit. Um, if you guys think my stove is dirty, it's not. It's just the thing underneath. It's very hard to scrub. And then when my uh, oil is nice and hot, I add a handful of rice. I did wash my rice. And then you're just gonna like um, allow it to brown while mixing it also at the same time so it doesn't burn but keep your pan on like very very low heat this is how I make my rice I like it this way my husband my family likes it this way um yeah and then you're just gonna mix it also because the rice will like start sticking together and then you just like need to get it out slowly like just get it you know away from each other and I'm not sure what's the word separated sorry And then after some time your rice will look like this. You must make sure they're golden brown, not brown, like burned. Then you're going to add the rest of your rice. You're going to add water. Um, just until the rice is nice and covered. Or you can, it depends on you how much water you want to put. And then you're going to add your salt and pepper. And you can add cumin also if you want to. It depends on how you want your rice to taste. I always prefer... Um, adding salt, pepper and cumin and then you're just gonna let them let the rice cook until it's um you know until almost like all the water is gone until you can see that it's almost done and then you're just gonna allow it to um steam in you don't throw the water out or anything you don't throw the rice out just leave it in the pot and allow it to steam until the rice is ready and now we have the jubilates i wash them cut them up and clean them out and then i'm just gonna boil them in some water because the jubilates are kind of like um how can i explain they kind of have like a ch chewy type of sorry my baby woke up um they have a type of chewy texture so i just like to boil them a little bit you know just to kind of get it nice and soft for my uh curry and then you're just gonna also put the lid on and leave it for like maybe half an hour, 15 minutes, it depends um, how long it takes to boil. 
and then we have some carrots um these peas come from my garden so they are you know nice and fresh onion garlic and a little bit of ginger and then i have my boiled jubilates when it was finished and my potatoes and then i have my uh, pot you're gonna heat the pot on medium heat add your oil throw in your onions and garlic and ginger and then i added some cardamom and cloves and then i'm just gonna allow that to brown like golden brown allow my onions to brown and then you know just stir so that it doesn't burn or anything mine is not like a non-stick pot or anything so we just always must be careful with it and then i added some tomato paste because i didn't have any tomatoes we were kind of out of a lot of things and then i added my giblets first the reason why i add my giblets first is just to you know let it fry with the rest of the onions i don't know why but for me it's just it gives a very nice flavor towards um my food towards my curry my curry is a bit different than a lot of people's curry so a lot of people might say no that's not how we do it but for me that's how i prefer it And then I just took all the peas out from uh, the, I'm not sure what you call those types of things, uh, but they were very sweet. And I was very happy that it came from my garden because it just tastes so much better than the canned peas. Then I add my masala, it's meat masala, I put in lemon in one, uh, garlic powder, salt and pepper. I always add garlic powder, even though I add powder, I just, I love garlic powder. And then you're just also going to um, add some water and let the spices cook in to get a nice aroma into your curry. You can do this even before you can add your spices with your onions when your onions is like golden brown. Like, like a little paste and then you add your giblets. Okay, so then I added the carrots and the potatoes and let they cook. I added the peas in last because the peas is soft and I didn't want it to, you know, cook more soft. So you add your carrots and your potatoes and just let that simmer, you know, um, until the potatoes are nice and soft. My carrots were already soft because I cut them up and put them in the freezer and then I just like took them out. And then with my potato, I add my salt. I always add my salt when I add my potato in. And then like after a half an hour, your curry will look like this. I didn't have my then normal sana, so... Um, that's why it, does. it looks a bit yellow. And then at the end, I add my peas. I must say, it was very nice. I actually enjoyed it. I didn't have my spoon yet to me, so I just took the fork. If you're wondering why, I have a fork in my hand. And that's the end result, guys. Um, I will be also posting most of my pictures on Instagram, so you guys can follow me on there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video, inshallah. I mean, assalamualaikum and bye, everyone. Thank you.